when we come around this table, we're told to do one simple thing. Remember Christ. The Lord did not tell us, however, to remember His birth. He did not tell us to remember His many miracles. He did not even tell us to remember His teaching. We are to remember Him, particularly His body and His blood. We are to remember His person. Jesus said, Remember Me. And we marvel and rejoice at the simplicity or the singular focus of our faith. Remember me. We are not told to remember our sins at this table. And of course, there is a time for the confession of sins. And if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But that's not what we're told to do at this table. We are told to examine ourselves before we eat and drink at this table. That is, we're not to take this casually. But the main point here is not to recount our shortcomings and feel guilty and unworthy. I have known people who told me they do not partake of this table, or at times they have not partaken, because some memory has stirred and they felt unworthy. Well, of course, we are all unworthy of this table, at least in our natural state. But He has made us worthy, and He invites us to come to His table and to remember Him. Memory can be our enemy. We all have things we would like to forget, but we can't seem to shake the recollection. On the other hand, we have things we ought to remember that we forget. This is surely part of the fallen nature within us that we must learn to rule over in Christ. This table teaches us to rule over our memory, to forget what is behind while not forgetting the Lord and all of His benefits. If you have an undisciplined and wandering mind, this table can help you begin to exercise focus and control over your thoughts, taking every thought captive and making it obedient to Christ. Remember me. Think about the meaning of this meal, this bread, and this fruit of the vine. Don't let this become a thoughtless and meaningless ritual. That is religion, not Christ. Don't let the grace of this blessed and holy moment pass you by. Memory can also be a friend and an ally in the fight of faith. If you are downcast and discouraged, you can remember all of the wonderful works of God. If the memory of sin creeps back in, you can remember that He bore your sins in His body on the tree. If you are afraid and it seems that the darkness of this present evil world is impenetrable, you can remember that our Lord rose again and defeated death, the last and greatest enemy. And He has also defeated all of the spiritual forces of darkness, those principalities and powers far above us in the heavenly realms, triumphing over them in His cross. If the wickedness of man seems formidable and intimidating, you can remember that our Lord ascended into heaven at the right hand of the Father to reign in the midst of His enemies until they are all made His footstool. And if you are afraid of the future and have lost hope, you can remember that He is coming again. We remember Him at this table till He comes. So do you see the power of this table as we remember Him? There is power here at this table. Power to do away with guilt and shame, to dismiss doubt and fear, to undergird faith, and to fuel our hope for the future. There is an opportunity here to gird up the loins of our minds and to exercise dominion over the mind of the flesh. But when you remember a person, when you remember a person, not just a thing or an event, like someone, like a dear friend or a close relative, that memory rekindles love and affection. This is really the heart of our purpose here at this table. As we remember Him, our hearts are filled with love for the Lord Himself. If you remember Him, you will love Him because He first loved us and gave Himself for us. And that love that He has for His people is as real today as this bread and this wine before us on the table. In this loving memory is the very substance of eternal life. Let's pray. 
Our Father in heaven, we ask your blessings upon this bread and this cup. May you bless our memories of Christ this morning. We thank you for his body and for his blood, for taking away our sins and cleansing us and giving us eternal life. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.